what's up everybody welcome back to the vlog my name is matthew go ahead and follow me on instagram at msj underscore four times and yeah chile productions um on instagram as well yeah so we're gonna be replacing the ac belt today along with the tensioner um so i'm at autozone i just picked up the belt heading on home let's get to it changing the actual belt is because I've changed it before about two months ago um, and this whole section over here looks all like rusty corroded like broken through um, so when I first replaced it I was spinning this piece around and I noticed it was making a lot of noise and I think that's what's causing the loud sound the loud grinding weird noise that I'm hearing um, from the engine bay also when I was um, I was looking under here the other day and I did notice that this was bouncing uh, back and forth and the other tensioner was it so that made me want to replace it even more so let me show you guys hopefully the GoPro will pick it up I'm sure you guys what I'm talking about maybe you can hear what it sounds like um, and then we'll dive in on how to exactly replace it Let's make this easy. So first things first is we're gonna remove this cover. All right, next thing is removing the serpentine belt. We're gonna use a 15 millimeter on this tensioner to pull it down. Um, notate how the belt goes. Not only from this, because sometimes it could get confusing, but actually look at how it's routed. It does not actually go around the fan like some people have done before. All right, you're gonna pull the serpentine this way. And just grab any portion of the belt and just start pulling it out. All right, now that you have the serpentine belt off, you can now jack up the car. While this is out though, what you can do is start moving things by hand and seeing if anything makes noise and replace it as needed. That one's kind of making a sound. So I might have to replace this tension. But other than that, everything else seems pretty good. And now that we're under the car, next thing we're gonna do is remove these two bolts right here and get rid of this plate. Or not get rid of it, just move it off to the side. All right, now that you have the plate out, what you can do is get your extensions in your sockets and pull this um, tensioner down in order to release the tension, obviously, on the belt so you can pull it out. And then once you have this all the way down, there should be plenty of room to remove it either from the AC compressor um, pulley or the harmonic balancer side. two bolts out of this lower um, tensioner and it's not even spinning freely you can see there's a lot of resistance on there and you can hear it so let's get those two bolts out all right and these bolts are kind of like in an awkward spot just because the, um, the cooler lines are right here so it's in there so I have like a I have my 15 millimeter socket in there uh, swivel adapter and this long ass extension just to get the bottom one off so let's see how this goes and then we'll try the top one all right and for the top bolt right up there i'm using um 
same kind of setup. 15 millimeter swivel adapter and a little extension. Um, and that's how I'm able to get this top one out. Cool. So I'm gonna remove this, and then we'll go ahead and install the new one. All right, here's a quick look at the old stuff and the new stuff. This is the new one right here. It spins fairly freely. Extremely easy. This one right here. Sorry, kind of hard to show you guys and hold this at the same time. It's extremely hard to move. And it's making all that noise. More than likely that was causing the issue. Here's the old belt. I don't know if you guys can really notice, but it's like a, it's kind of chewed up a little bit. So we got a new one. Let's go ahead and install this and we're, we're gonna do everything in exact reverse order. I'll show you guys how to install this in just a moment after I throw this back on. All right, now that we got the tensioner on, we're gonna go ahead and install the belt. First thing you're gonna wanna do is throw it around the harmonic balancer here and push it all the way past its seating area. There's, it goes inside, so it's gonna give you a little bit more playroom. And honestly, I think this is the only way you can actually install it. So now that it's past its seating area, it went, in, went ahead and sunk in a bit. What you're gonna wanna do is wrap it around the tensioner and then around the AC compressor. Sorry, you guys can't see. So I wrapped it around the tensioner. Pulling it closer now, it's seated on the AC compressor and then you can see it's it's right here in the back cool so you're gonna need two hands for this but you're gonna want to pull this down adjust it over the AC pulley and then seat it on the harmonic balancer don't seat it on the harmonic balancer first make sure it's inside the back area so let me set the camera down and hopefully you guys can see it All right, and just like that, it is on. Took a while to kind of mess around with, but one thing I did was put it over the harmonic balancer and over the AC pulley. And then the belt was sitting behind the tensioner. So if you were able to push all this down or push the tensioner all the way down, you should be able to just slide it up, which is what I did. So put it, put it over the harmonic balancer and the AC pulley and then slid it over the tensioner and just like that it is on it's now time to put on this plate drop the car install the serpentine kit again and let's see if that sound went away all right done i'm gonna shove it all down through the passenger side wrap it around the harmonic balancer Pull up the extra slack. Put it around the tensioner over here. In between the fan and this top pulley. And then move it down to Our steering pump pull down this tensioner and 
get it around. The alternator. And let's try to do it on the tensioner last. Just like we did with the AC one. There it gets a better leverage here. Tensioner. And that's good to go. That's done. We're gonna throw on the cover and then test it out, see how it goes. All right, got it all back together. Let's turn her on and see what it sounds like. down fully make sure you all check yours out because this don't even spin freely all right and this is pretty much the end of this vlog um that i was able to find out or you know resolve that issue because this shit made the fucking engine bay extremely loud and annoying um yeah done for the day on the trailblazer i'm gonna give, uh, go ahead and head on home and start um working on the Chevelle. Uh, tomorrow's the Chevelle versus Cutlass meet and let's see how that goes. Till next time.